Once a week, commence a back flush cycle by pressing the M button and check that the back flushing happens in sequence according to your back flush controller setup. Wait for water to flow out clean and freely from the back flush manifold. Toggle the control assembly to inlet pressure and make a note of it. Now toggle the control assembly to outlet pressure and make a note of that. Subtract the outlet from the inlet pressure. This is your DP value. Make sure this is within the operational range. Blockage of the control assembly filter will cause a malfunction of the back flushing process. Check to see if it requires cleaning. pressure from the filtration system. Turn off the water, then open any valve in the downstream of the system to release the pressure. Verify that the pressure gauge is at zero before proceeding. Now inspect the secondary filter. Open the secondary screen filter and check if it is dirty. Clean it using high-pressure water. Once clean, place it back and close the filter. Open the main water valve and pressurize the system. Check that all connections and fittings are not leaking. If any of them are leaking, reconnect and replace. your weekly maintenance, check for any physical damage to the exterior of the filter and its paintwork and repair if needed.